Well, hello everybody. It's Greg coming here from Good News for Israel, and this is our take five. And Selah, we spent some time just uh, reflecting on the Lord and the Word of God. Just take five minutes, grab a cup of tea, and sit back and enjoy our time together around the Word of God. We're looking at this uh, incredible city called Shechem in the Scriptures, and uh, referring back to the Scripture in Genesis chapter 12, and verse 6, where it says that Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the terebinth tree of Moreh, and the uh, Canaanites were in the land. So we're continuing to talk about the significance of this place, Shechem. It's the first place that um, Abram came to in the land of Canaan, and we've seen so many things happen here already. Go back and have a look at some of the previous uh, Take 5 and Selahs, some of our previous uh, videos. I'd like to uh, focus now on the New Testament to see if Shechem is mentioned in the New Testament. If the covenant with Abram is significant to God, then there should be an interest for Jesus in this very special place. So is Shechem mentioned when Jesus walked on the earth? Well, in the days of the Messiah, Jesus, Shechem was not called Shechem, it was called Sechar. Do you remember what happened at Sikhar? That's right. Jesus met a Samaritan woman at a well. And which well did he meet her at? Well, it was Jacob's well. So this puts the scene right at Shechem because we know that Jacob dug a well at Shechem. He had a plot of land there. So let's pick up the story in John chapter 4 and verse 5. So he, Jesus, came to the city of Samaria, Samaria, uh, to, sorry, Let's say that again. So he came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sechar, near the plot of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Uh, and there we find that he told her of living water where she could thirst no more. And in ver at verse 19 it says, The woman said to him, oh, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship on this, worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that it is in Jerusalem that one ought to worship. And so which mountain is she referring to uh, when she said our fathers worshipped on this mountain? Well, she's referring to Mount Gerizim. Right there, towering above the town of Sechal, which is ancient Shechem. And in verse 21, Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, and we worship, uh, and, but we know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And the woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Messiah. When he comes, he will tell us all things. And Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. So Jesus confirmed to this dear Samaritan woman here at Shechem that he was the Messiah. That's a very special thing to happen at Shechem. He revealed his knowledge that she had had several husbands. She took him as a prophet or a messiah and went off to the village and called the people of the town. And then verse 39 says, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. When she said, He told me all that I ever did. Verse 40 so when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them. And he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that he is indeed the Messiah, the Saviour of the world. <sighs> wow, what a story. So which town did all of this happen in? Sechah, or Shechem, where Abram first built an altar in the promised land. So this amazing little village became a significant part of the future kingdom of Israel 
And the place where the decision to obey and follow the Lord or not was made clear with its consequences. The powerful covenant that God made with Abram became uh, visible from the imagery of the blessings found in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verses 1 to 14. This is what blessing looks like. And did you know that as sons of Abraham, by faith in Jesus, you have been grafted into this covenant and have the full rights to these blessings. So are you realizing the blessings spoken at Shechem or Mount Gerizim in Deuteronomy chapter 28, 1 to 14 in your life? I hope you enjoy uh, as we learn a little bit of, uh, more about Shechem. It's such a significant place in regards to the kingdom of God and the covenant that God made with Abraham. Well, that's it for today. I pray the Lord bless you. I, I pray that you have a great day and we'll catch up again next time. Bye for now.